Hi everybody, it's George with you again at the Volo Auto Museum and today I want to invite you on a virtual test drive of a 1969 Chevrolet Camaro Copo. This thing is absolutely beautiful. I love the hugger orange paint. I love the tires with it. The lines are great. And this was actually rotisserie restored. They spent $85,000 at uh, Hendrix Performance to get this uh, rotisserie restoration done and the exact specs of a Copo. So as I'm doing the walk around, if you want to go ahead, click subscribe on the YouTube channel, turn on the notifications so you get updated anytime Jay or myself uh, does one of these videos and then head on over to volocars.com to check out the hundred or so more pictures of this, the additional specs and the pricing. Camaros are moving really fast. So if you're interested, hopefully this video gives you that extra information you need and give sales a call because this one will be gone soon. The door clicks right open. The interior looks brand new. It is absolutely stunning. I'm not seeing any tears, rips, any more missing dye. Like I said, just like brand new. The headliner is in excellent shape. The dash too. The, uh, the cluster up there with your tachometer. Oh, what a beautiful car. All right, let's start it up. I tried out the radio, I know that one doesn't work. Tachometer's going though, fuel gauge is there. Uh, I'm ready to take this on the road. I work in the shop, and so this is the first time we have a chance to take these out. And so I start out nice and smooth, kind of get a feel for it, and then later on in the video, I'll go ahead and open it up a little bit. But this is where I can test the alignment if we need to get it over to the shop. Uh, anything's not sounding right. Shifts with ease. Drive straight. Just feels nice and tight and solid. Very, very little play in the wheel. That's all you have before it actually starts. Let's take it on this bumpier road here. Let's see what it sounds like. bit of squeaks but I believe this one just has uh, a few hundred miles on it I'm not 100% sure you have to check the write up and everything that Jay says This one, when you park it to get the key out, it does have the reverse lockout. Or so you have to actually put it in reverse to get the key completely out. I'm um, gonna get on a little bit up here, get a feel for it, and then on the way back down this road up here, we'll uh, see if I can get a little more. Jay gave me the green light to not go crazy, but still get on him a little more. I got up to 50 right there pretty quick. really well when you're going through the gears. Fourth gear still has that pick me up. God this is fun to drive. 
And that hugger orange, it gets people looking. channel oh grind a little bit there all right turn on the notifications uh, so you get updated and then go on to uh, bolocars.com get all the specs the pricing and everything else for this beautiful vehicle and give sales a call because like i said this one's not going to last long as always appreciate you